I'm always looking for different ways to get uh, asymmetric aleatoric rhythms. And so I'm using white noise to go to the envelope follower. And then I'll explain this in a moment. So taking the pulse out of uh, the envelope follower, going to a function generator so that I can um, tamp down uh, the density. If you can see uh, here, the noise is, even though I have a long decay and a, uh, let's see, sensitivity is like at about one or two, that's as tamped down as I can get that just using these um, parameters, but I can further, as you can see here, this is going much more slowly than that, less dense. So I'm using that to then trigger a function generator going to open our low pass gate. I'm using random uh, fluctuating voltage to change the attack so that I always like to have mm, some option for attacks. It's never going to be a super slow attack, but some things will have slow attacks and then fast attacks. Um, then let's see, I'm also using this pulse out of here to go to the sample and hold, um, and also piggybacking that to go to quantized random voltages. Quantized random voltages are going to the main oscillator which is being frequency modulated by the bottom oscillator, it's getting um, sample and hold on the alternates uh, to change its pitch. And what it's actually reading to what it's to sample is the CV out of the noise from the envelope generator. And I'm taking that to the dual processor to, uh, again, uh, squash it down a bit so it becomes uh, doable. Otherwise, it's so far, you know, it just takes that oscillator it's supersonic. Okay, um, I think that covers it. So we'll take a little listen and uh, say goodbye.